Today on RPG Horror Stories, we cover the story of a player whose selfish, self-absorbed, and stubborn nature led to the entire campaign imploding. Without further ado, let's get started. For context, prior to this campaign, I had only played a couple of one-shots to get my feet wet. I hit it off with one of the DMs, and we became friends. He wanted to try running a homebrew campaign, and knew a couple of people that would be interested. It's important to note that the DM was friends with all of us separately, and played with all of us separately. We didn't know each other prior to this, and never played together. So, the cast of characters. We have the cleric, me, the fighter, the druid, and obviously, our DM. In the beginning, our campaign was going really well. Our characters all meshed well and played off of each other's strengths. We had some really good RP moments, and I was fully invested in the story. Kudos to our DM for making a compelling tale and weaving all of our characters' personal backstories into it. As stated before, I was a new player, and incidentally, so was the druid. Similar to me, she had only played short games. The fighter, however, boasted years of playing D&D and various other RPGs. I only say this to explain why I didn't notice some of the red flags before things got out of hand. I assumed that as the veteran, she knew what she was doing, and this is just how people played. Now the fighter played a character that was pretty abrasive and stubborn. Generally, I have no issue with characters like that. Like I said earlier, our characters all managed to get along well, and sometimes this abrasiveness even made for some interesting RP moments. Our characters had some really interesting interactions as my character tended more towards diplomacy and her way was more screw you, I'm right. As time went on, these were less interesting RP moments and more I actively have a headache trying to deal with this nonsense. Instead of going beat over beat, everything that happened during our campaign, here's a sampling of some of the fighter's behaviors. The fighter at one point or another insulted almost every NPC we interacted with, even the ones we liked. My character worked double time to smooth feathers. Questioned the DM a lot, criticized his rulings, quoted the handbook at him, and sometimes f just freaked out about encounters that weren't balanced in our favor. Any chance that her character could die was immediately met with opposition. Fully checked out of any scene that didn't feature her character, to the point where she would interrupt us in voice chat to tell us about some video she was watching, or some funny meme she just found. That one really pisses me off. Anything she doesn't care about, or doesn't want to make a decision on, immediately deferred to my character. When I tried to have a discussion about it, just reiterated that she would do whatever my character said. Especially being a first time player, I was uncomfortable having that much control over the group's decisions. It frankly, also didn't make sense for my character to want to be in control of all the decisions. She was very much a team player kind of person. Ended scenes abruptly by leaving, telling us OOC that she was bored with this or having her character do something so the scene had to end. I love to roleplay, so this one really upset me. There are a few times my character was having an intense moment and it was just brushed aside as if it didn't matter, which is hilarious considering the next bullet point. Toward the end of our campaign, decided her character had a massive crush on mine, which sounds alright on the surface I suppose, but her character showed no indication this was the case until one session late into the campaign. She was suddenly all over my character almost constantly. My character made it obvious, several times in game, that she was still grieving over the loss of her wife and wasn't in a place to pursue romance. At least, I thought she did? This point isn't a grievous sin, just something that made me definitely uncomfortable and confused. Leading up to our final bad session, the fighter and the DM had a few tiffs, so the energy of the group was rather 
contentious, let's say. It's also important to note that prior to having what would be our final session, we had taken a break from the main campaign to join a campaign the fighter DM'd. This went, uh, interestingly? I have some wild stories from this one. I'll probably write those up eventually. That campaign only seemed to heighten the negative energy between the fighter and the DM. I'll skip over the plot mumbo jumbo and jump straight to the incident. Back in our original campaign, our characters were discussing with NPCs how best to break someone out of jail. The druid and I presented a few options that were shut down. The fighter presented an option that was interesting, but had a very minuscule chance of actually working. Think all the planets have to align just so for this plan to work. After being shot down, she stops talking. The druid and I continue to brainstorm with our NPC pals, while abruptly, the fighter declares that she is leaving to do something else. We are obviously caught off guard, especially since we had finally figured on a plan and we were in the process of fleshing it out. The DM, sensing the fighter's irritation, asked if there was something wrong. The fighter responds that yes, she is annoyed that our plans keep getting shut down. She doesn't appreciate the DM railroading us into a decision. I jump to the DM's defense to say that I didn't think he was trying to railroad us. Rather, the NPCs have more knowledge of the world currently than we do, and they're just trying to help us. Plus, he did accept a few of our ideas, and we were currently working on fleshing them out. The fighter reiterates that she thinks this is dumb, and her character wants to leave. She feels like everyone thinks her character is stupid, because no one liked her idea. The DM responds that they didn't hate her idea, it just wasn't likely to work, and the NPCs didn't want to stake their only chance on that. The DM finally asks her what he can do to make the game better for the fighter, and she tells him to stop hand-holding us through every problem and maybe I'll have fun. The DM immediately disappears from voice chat. Oh, he's definitely upset. The druid and I talk with the fighter to try to figure out what is going on. The fighter keeps reiterating that we were being railroaded and her character is being made to feel stupid. The druid and I try to explain that we don't feel that way, so it is hard for us to understand why she thinks that. We ask her for examples to help us understand, but the fighter just repeats the same thing over and over. Eventually, I leave to talk to the DM and make sure he's okay. He is definitely not okay. In fact, he's pissed. He rants and raves to me about how the fighter always pulls this and he is finally done. Apparently, she has pulled similar things in other campaigns he ran. He's not coming back. He never wants to talk to her again, and he's just done. I leave the chat with him, rejoin our group, and inform them that the DM isn't coming back right now. He's upset, needs to cool off. Maybe we can reconvene later, but for now, he needs some time to himself. The fighter continues to harp on him, I just leave. The aftermath. I finally get a chance to talk to the DM after everything cools down and he apologizes for his behavior. He also explains how the fighter's behavior had been slowly grading on him and apparently the fighter had been equally critical to the DM outside of the game via private calls, chats, etc. While this incident wasn't a huge deal, it was more the straw that broke the camel's back. I told the DM that he should probably air his grievances with the fighter so they can try and make amends. He agrees, he just needs time. I inform the fighter that the druid and the DM need time to cool off, and he will reach out when he's better. Over the next few days, the fighter becomes increasingly annoyed. She messages our group every day asking for an update about the DM. She says she's messaged him a bunch of times, but he has apparently blocked her, so she's contacted him through every means possible. Apparently, she's left a ton of voicemails as well, 
actually, she's been trying to contact him ever since the blow-up happened. So much for letting him cool off, I guess. The druid and I reiterate that the DM needs space. Just give him time to think. The fighter refuses. She actually tells us no. She needs to talk to him right now. How dare he not consider how she feels? Eventually, she realizes that the only way to talk to the DM is through us. So she asks for the druid and I to pass along a message to the DM to stop acting like a toddler, otherwise he's going to lose a friend. She asks us several times over several days, most of which I try to ignore. Not my circus, not my monkey. After ignoring these messages for a while, I finally cave and let the fighter know that this isn't my fight. I care about both of them, but I don't want to be the mediator or messenger between the two of them. I'm not comfortable being in the middle of this fight, and if they want to talk it out, the fighter needs to wait for the DM to reach out when he's ready. The fighter then blocks me, deletes all of our chats, deletes the server made for her campaign, and disappears into the night. So that's how my first D&D group and campaign ended. It's been several months since it happened, but I'm still sort of upset about how it all went down. I think the situation definitely could have been better handled on all of our parts, but it is what it is. Like I said, I have some stories from the other campaign that I think are pretty bananas, so please let me know if you'd like to hear those. There is a lot to unpack here, but let's just start with what I think is the biggest problem. Being a rigid player and character, and I mean in real life and in the game, is usually not great. I've gone over this before, but being very stubborn in the D&D game is not going to always work out. It's important to remember that this is a team game. You need to work together. And being stubborn as like a flaw is all right, but you can't get in the way of the fun of other characters and players with your stubborn and abrasive personality. That's just never going to be okay with me as a DM. If I see a player who's shutting down other people because it's what their character would do, I don't really care if it's what your character would do. You are ruining the fun of other players and that takes precedent. It always takes precedent. It's definitely, definitely bad to be a stubborn person in real life. An inability to take criticism on the fighter's part is a serious problem. Something as petty as not having your plan accepted in a planning session of the game is absolutely ridiculous. That kind of reaction from the fighter is not warranted in any way, especially since the other two players feel completely different about the situation. On top of that, the final thing I'm going to talk about on the fighter's part is calling the DM out outside the game and constantly annoying him, for lack of a better word, about in-game stuff. DMs have a life outside of D&D. I have had experiences where people will interrupt things I'm doing on my day-to-day -day life like work or practice and tell me that they want me to handle something for D&D. And usually, I'm kind of annoyed because I'm in the middle of something. I have a life outside of Dungeons & Dragons. If you demand I handle some D&D thing while I'm handling my real life stuff, it's definitely going to piss me off. And that gets to my next point, the DM getting pissed off. I'm not gonna lie, the DM was justified in getting upset. I will say that they should probably have eventually caved and talked to the fighter, no matter how annoying they were throughout the story. And I'm not saying the DM should have caved to the fighter's demands, I'm saying the DM should have caved and just had a conversation. Just say that they tried, you know? They understand not wanting to confront a problem player. That completely makes sense to me, especially if you are friends with them outside the game. But at some point it's got to happen and I think just ghosting them was not the best move even if I understand why they did it. The DM is definitely not the problem here. It, it is most definitely the fighter who was constantly just being an irritating, 
self-centered, stubborn, brittle player. If you guys enjoyed this episode of RPG Horror Stories, then please do hit that like button. If you want to see more episodes of RPG Horror Stories, as well as my other series, Tabletop Tavern Tips, as well as a cool bits and bobs video coming out tomorrow, then please do hit that subscribe button. And finally, if you have your own story, your own thoughts, then go down to the comments down below. In essence, like, comment, subscribe. I will see you all next time. Farewell.